in a radically empowered environment, employees are trusted with significant responsibilities and have the freedom to make choices that directly impact their work, projects, and even the direction of the organization. You're listening to Working Forward, a Future of Work-focused podcast from People Forward Network. These episodes pave the road ahead, helping us confidently step into the future as a leader who moves people forward. Let's go. I'm Lori Shakur, and this is Putting the Human Back in Human Resources. We're diving deep into the world of HR and leadership, exploring pivotal elements that shape workplace dynamics while unraveling the impact of positive leadership and sharing the significance of creating healthy workplaces where people can truly thrive. I'm glad you're here. Let's get started. Story time. A few months back, my boss came to my cube to grab me for our weekly one-on-one. We walked back to her office where she immediately sat down at her desk. I closed the door behind me and stood. She looked confused and said, please sit down. In the most genuine and compassionate voice, she asked, why do you always wait before you sit? I was a bit thrown by the question. It was an unconscious behavior, and I'd honestly never thought of it before. I hesitated before I responded. I was vulnerable and said, I think it's just my mental conditioning. Despite being invited, I don't always feel welcomed, so I wait. Now, I should pause here and share that my boss is the most fearless, confident woman I've ever met. I am in constant awe of her courage and conviction daily. Back to the story. She looked at me like I was delusional and said, nonsense, leave that thinking behind. You are invited and very, very welcomed here. Now, let's go. I recognize that I'm blessed and I'm extremely grateful that I have someone that sees me, someone that notices and calls me out when I'm not demonstrating empowering behaviors. And I recognize that not everyone is as lucky. Today, I want to talk about empowerment, how leaders can and should empower, but also how employees can and should take the initiative to empower themselves. Radical empowerment refers to a management philosophy and approach where leaders within an organization are given a higher degree of autonomy and decision-making authority. In a radically empowered environment, employees are trusted with significant responsibilities and have the freedom to make choices that directly impact their work, projects, and even the direction of the organization. Radical empowerment reflects a progressive stance in modern leadership, one that emphasizes trust, collaboration, and the decentralization of decision-making authority, all with the objective of fostering innovation and greater employee engagement. The concept of radical empowerment doesn't have a specific origin, nor is it attributed to a single individual. Instead, it is rooted in the broader evolution of modern leadership, emerging as a response to our ever-changing workplace dynamics. The idea of empowering employees and distributing decision-making authority is influenced by numerous management thinkers and movements. For example, Frederick Hertzberg, a pioneer in motivation theory, developed job enrichment and the two-factor theory, highlighting the importance of intrinsic factors such as autonomy, achievement, and recognition as being key to empowering employees. 
leadership theorists and management scholars such as Peter Drucker, Douglas McGregor, and Stephen Covey have contributed to the development of empowerment principles through their works. This concept challenges traditional hierarchical structures where decision-making is centralized at the uppermost top levels of management. While radical empowerment seeks to distribute power more broadly, enabling individuals throughout the organization to contribute ideas, take initiative, and make decisions that align with the company's goals. It often involves a shift from a command and control leadership style to one that fosters collaboration, innovation, and individual agency. The goal being to create a more agile, adaptive, and engaged workforce. Peter Singe, the author of The Fifth Discipline and The Dance of Change, emphasizes the importance of organizational learning, systems thinking, and a shared vision in fostering empowerment and innovation within organizations. Traditional management paradigms are evolving to embrace empowerment. For example, we're seeing a shift towards servant leadership. Numerous organizations are moving away from the authoritative top-down leadership styles towards servant leadership, where leaders prioritize empowering and serving their teams rather than exerting control over them. Traditional hierarchical structures are being flattened to facilitate more open communication, collaboration, and decision-making across all levels of the organization. Instead of centralized decision-making by a few at the very top, many organizations are decentralizing decision-making authority, subsequently empowering their employees at all levels to make decisions that impact their work. Traditional management has often overlooked diverse perspectives and contributions. But in contrast, modern leadership embraces diversity and inclusivity, recognizing the value of diverse voices and experiences in driving innovation and success. Numerous companies have successfully implemented radical empowerment and their experiences are noteworthy. One example that comes to mind and a personal favorite is the case of Zappos, an online shoe and clothing retailer. Zappos is known for their radical approach to employee empowerment encouraging their staff to make customer service decisions without the need of managerial approval. This freedom has led to exceptional customer experiences and extremely high job satisfaction among employees. Whole Foods Market, another personal favorite, they're known for empowering their teams. Their associates are given full autonomy and authority while on the floor to support their customers, and to make the Whole Foods market experience memorable. These organizations have experienced a heightened employee engagement score, increased productivity, and a greater sense of commitment from their employees. While radical empowerment can bring about numerous benefits, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the need to strike a balance and consider the specific context of the organization. Successful implementation requires thoughtful consideration of organizational culture, tribes and vibes, communication structures, and ongoing support for employees in adopting and adapting to this new approach. In the journey toward implementing radical empowerment, organizations may encounter challenges. These challenges will require careful consideration and strategic solutions. One major challenge is the fear of loss of control. Traditional management structures often revolve around centralized decision-making, 
and the relinquishing, well, some of that control can be anxiety-inducing for leaders. But to overcome this challenge, organizations can gradually introduce empowerment initiatives, starting with small-scale projects to build trust and confidence in the process. Leadership could emphasize the benefits of shared decision-making and the positive impact that it has on employee engagement and organizational performance. Another significant challenge is the need for a cultural shift. Adopting radical empowerment requires a change in mindset at all levels of the organization. Employees may be accustomed to seeking approval from higher-ups. And suddenly being entrusted with decision-making authority can be daunting. The organization should invest in comprehensive training programs to equip employees with the necessary skills and resulting confidence. A cultural shift also necessitates clear communication about the organization's commitment to empowerment and the expected changes in workflow and decision-making processes. Resistance to change is also a common obstacle. Some employees may be hesitant to embrace new ways of working, fearing that this increased responsibility, hmm, well, there's a lot of ambiguity and uncertainty with that. There's a need for clarity in roles, goals, vision. Addressing this challenge requires head-on direct communication. Leaders should openly discuss the reasons behind the shift, emphasizing how it aligns with the organization's values. By providing a forum for employees to express their concerns and actively involving them in the decision-making process, organizations can mitigate resistance and foster a sense of ownership in the transition. Structural barriers can impede as well. When considering empowerment, organizations must assess their existing structures, programs, and processes to identify and subsequently remove obstacles that hinder empowerment. This may involve revisiting job roles, job descriptions, redesigning workflows, and ensuring that the necessary resources and information are readily available to employees. Establishing feedback loops and continuous improvement mechanisms can also further enhance the structural support for empowerment. Lastly, and in my opinion, most critically, is the lack of supportive leadership as a barrier. Leaders play a crucial role in modeling the desired behaviors and values. To address this challenge, Organizations should invest in leadership programs that emphasize coaching, collaboration, and emotional intelligence. Leaders need to actively demonstrate trust in their teams, provide guidance rather than directives, and celebrate the successes that arise from empowered decision-making. By fostering a leadership culture that aligns with the principles of empowerment, Organizations can navigate these challenges and truly pave the way for a more inclusive and dynamic workplace. There are two parts to this relationship. The empowerment responsibility shouldn't fall solely on leadership. Employees play a critical role as well. What I've seen and experienced is by taking a few proactive steps, one can shift their mindset and move in the direction of empowerment and ultimately greater job fulfillment. Here are my 10 steps for success. One, set clear goals. Define both personal and professional goals that align with your values, dreams, and aspirations. Having clarity about what you want to achieve helps you stay focused and motivated. Take initiative. Don't wait for opportunities to come to you. Seek them out proactively. 
volunteer, offer to take on additional responsibilities. Look for ways to bring your best, ways to add value to your team and organization. Develop your skills. Continuously invest both in your personal and professional development by acquiring new skills, seeking out training opportunities, and pursuing relevant certifications. Building a diverse skill set increases your confidence and marketability. Build relationships. Network, network, network. Cultivate strong relationships with colleagues, mentors, and leaders within and outside your organization. Communicate effectively. Hone your communication skills, both verbal and written, to articulate your ideas, express your needs, and advocate for yourself effectively. Clear and assertive communication fosters respect and enhances your influence. Take ownership. Take ownership of your work and hold yourself accountable for your actions and outcomes. Demonstrate reliability, integrity, and a commitment to excellence in everything you do. Manage your time wisely. Prioritize tasks, set deadlines, and manage your time effectively to maximize your productivity and to minimize stress. Avoid distractions and focus on high-impact activities that align with your goals. Seek feedback. Candidly, my least favorite, but I recognize how important it is. Be open to feedback from colleagues, supervisors, and peers, and use it as an opportunity for your growth and development. Consistently solicit constructive feedback and take the necessary steps to incorporate that feedback. Embrace challenges. Adopt a growth mindset and approach challenges with resilience, determination, and a willingness to learn. View challenges and setbacks as opportunities and not as a perceived failure. Lastly, practice self-care. Prioritize yourself. Prioritize your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Maintain balance so that you can be resilient. Make time for activities that recharge and bring you joy. By taking proactive steps to self-empower, you can enhance your confidence, effectiveness, and satisfaction. Radical empowerment within organizations has demonstrated a profound positive impact, both on employee motivation, creativity, and job satisfaction. When employees are given the autonomy to make decisions that directly influence their work, it fosters a sense of ownership, leading to a sense of purpose. By building trust and fostering transparency, organizations become central tenants, leading to modern leadership success. Leaders are encouraged to be open, honest, and transparent in their communications while fostering a culture of trust that empowers employees to take ownership of their work. This heightened sense of responsibility often translates into individuals feeling a direct connection between their efforts and the overall success of the organization. Empowered employees are much more likely to be intrinsically motivated and driven by a genuine passion for their work and a desire to contribute meaningfully. Together, let's imagine a workplace where every individual is not just heard, but is valued and appreciated. I believe that's the power of radical empowerment. I believe that there is a future where inclusion and contribution isn't just a dream, but it can be a reality for all of us working. Radical empowerment isn't just about giving a voice to the voiceless. It's about putting the human 
back into human resources. Thanks for tuning into Working Forward. If you like what you hear, please share it with others and make sure you're following the show to not miss an episode. We are available anywhere you get your audio. See you next time.